Hey YouTube, I got another tabletop review for you here. It's on something a little bit different. Starting to get all my guns out, show them off. Again, like one of my other ones, I have a case that doesn't belong to the gun. Right here. This is um The Protector Series cases. You can pick these cases up at uh, Walmart. Fairly cheap. This has got a nice little design in it. I can't really pick that up. It's kind of like a woodsy background. Some, some deer running in there and stuff. It's a decent case. It serves the purpose to what I'm going to use, what I use it for. Alright, let's get it open. What I have here is, let me move my camera in here so you can see a little bit better. What I have here is my Remington 870. 20 gauge, not a 12. I actually, uh, I used to, I used to own a 12 gauge. I don't have anything against them. I just, I had one. I shot a 20 gauge. Like the way that it shot, realized, you know what? That does the same damage. Uh, just about the same damage that a 12 gauge can do. Yeah, this is loaded. I'm gonna go ahead and load this. For safety peoples out there. Another one. Just gonna take that one out. Actually, I'm just gonna... Okay. That's it. And then chamber. Yeah, that's empty. Um. Anyways, back to what I was doing. Um. I shot at one. Realized it does about the same damage as a 12 gauge can do, and it don't kick as hard. Not that I can't handle the kick, but when you're uh, wanting to get on your target fast, and you got that little bit of a, a little bit of a jerk to get back on your target, where a 20 gauge after you take your shot, it's more of a, uh, a jerk back, so of a jerk backing up a little bit. You get this action in a 12 gauge or 20 gauge is just like that. You can still stay on, still pump, and back on. Another trick what you could do is you could actually lean into your shot. And that would help with the 20 gauge, but I have no problem with the 20 gauge. Um, it's currently wearing a uh, weaver mount, weaver uh, rail for scope. Most people be like, why you put a scope on a shotgun? Well, deer season, I had a red dot on here. I actually took the red dot off and sold it. I was having problems keeping the red dot sighted in on a shotgun. I think it was a weaker red dot, more for uh, like a 22 or something. Not really designed for a shotgun, maybe even for a crossbow. So I took that off. And actually what I'm really thinking about doing is just taking this off put some fiber optics on it. Now I only have one barrel for this so what I shoot out of when I deer hunt is these right here. The rifled slugs. So I got an improved cylinder choke for it. It's in there and I'm going to show you I'm going to actually take that out and I'm going to show you which one Here's the mod. This is the one that comes with it. Let me get my choke tube wrench. Get work on it. Get it out of here for you. Okay. And here's the improved cylinder. Now if you look, you can see that the mod is thicker and the improved cylinder is thinner, the improved cylinder allows 
allows that slug to penetrate through there a lot better where the mod would actually end up ruining your uh, your cylinder your choke so take that into key note you don't always have to have a rifle barrel and get these these are actually cheaper too these are like uh, about five bucks you get five of them they're yeah, about a dollar a shot they go into being versus spending um what fifteen bucks for five for the um Sabbath slugs and you have to make sure you got the barrel yeah. this is an older model you can probably tell by the wood on there but I threw this thing uh, the shell holder on here I'm probably going to take it off it's actually kind of annoying but it's always nice to have some extra shots you run out I can also keep a uh, Two on my uh, sling. So uh, hopefully I get some uh, some footage of uh, footage of this on um, in action. This is also this is uh, an Express Magnum too. Right there, see. Remington A70 Express Magnum. Alright. So hopefully I can get some footage of this in um, out the range or something or just shooting out. I want to go shoot some clays to get up on my shot so uh, maybe I can get some at the range and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and load this. I keep it locked, locked away here, my thing. But for home defense purposes, if I need to grab it, I can flip my case open, grab it, and I know that I have three ready to go. I put a uh, wooden dowel in here for shotgun season. I put a wooden dowel in here, and unfortunately, I can only carry two in the tube. And before I sign off, what am I gonna do? Something I was going to do before I signed off. What is it? Ah, I remember. I have uh, some stuff to give away. To the 100th subscriber to my channel, you have to subscribe. The 100th subscriber to my channel will receive this free. I'll be contacting you if you're the 100th subscriber. I'll be contacting you for your uh, shipping. Where you want to ship to. This right here is a uh, eyesight. Micro light, it clips on your ear, just like a Bluetooth. See, just goes around your ear, and it's universal. You can take this off, and you can put it at the bottom. It's got an on switch at the top, or if you flip it, it will be at the bottom. This can move a little bit up and a little bit down, and it comes on. The light is green. Light is green, so don't forget to subscribe, comment, and rate. Thank you.